Hi. So thanks, guys, for talking to me. I, I really appreciate it. I watched the film. I liked it. It scared the crap out of me, but I liked it a lot. <laughs> so can you... Which, which part did you find the most scary? Uh, actually, I think the first part, without spoiling it, what kind of happens in, in that storyline. <laughs> there you go. So, that's yeah. creepy. So um, how did you first, for both of you, how did you first get involved in the project? I was in a situation uh, where for I, me, I was sent this. Go ahead, go ahead. Delays, I hate delays. No, you go, go on, you Anna. go, baby. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I, I, got I... You go. Oof. You. You, ah! you, you. <laughs> I got to send the script and talk to Brennan. I liked the, um, the tone he wanted to set. It sounded unique and individual. I liked all the company that we're working for and the idea of working with Rafi. Um, I feel the same way. Uh, I got sent a script and I didn't have a job and I needed a job. And so I got this job and I felt very lucky about that. And uh, once I found out Anna was doing it, I agreed to do it. Great. Um, a lot of this gets pretty dark. Um, was it hard to kind of step into that and to, and to move away from it? I don't know. I found a lot of it very, very creepy on all angles, but. I, I could relate to um, you know, the, the, the Brit's character who has the sensory um, issues mm -hmm. that she gets, that, that everything is accentuated. Um, my daughter often talks about that and I think I have a little bit of it. Um, so I, I could relate to that element. And also um, I'm a big believer in justice and I don't like people who prey on the vulnerable. So it was nice to tell her story. It was more about telling the psychological thrillers element of it as opposed to the gut score and, and horror. Right. Um, can you direct the questions by name so we don't get an overlap? Oh, sorry. Okay. Uh, well, no, 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 no. That's my God. It's not your fault. It's Zoom's fault. You're good. Um, so um, basically what, uh, what was, oh, sorry, the darkness and the energy. Um, I feel a lot of pain a lot of the time. Um, and so I didn't really uh, have an issue with going into that um, or being part of that. Um, I, uh, I found the makeup that I was wearing quite restricting and that was actually scarier than anything else. Um, the acting side of it and the emotions were the easy bit as far as I'm concerned. Not that I did a good job as an actor, but at least my, me, me getting into it and enjoying it and trying my best, I found a bit seamless. Thank you. Um, and, and I was going to ask you in particular, Rafi, can you can you talk more about the special effects? I mean, it looked very uncomfortable, <laughs> but it looks really cool. Yeah, so that was that was a couple hundred thousand dollars worth of makeup. It was one of the best prosthetic teams in the world. They are amazing um, and the kindest people and very patient with me because I was seven hours of makeup in the morning. Yeah. Right, I had to wake up at four and then we only got to shoot for about six or seven hours, which was very kind of them because it was so uncomfortable. It was a latex suit that covered my whole body. I couldn't really go to the bathroom properly and it suffocated my body because my skin couldn't breathe really. And then it got really cold and really hot. And so um, Anna fed me Snickers bars the whole time. Um, and I was grumpy the whole time, but it was so worth it because of the way it looks. Great. Um, and I'll ask you, what, what did you find the most challenging about this role? Um, putting up with Rafi's grumpiness when he wore the suit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, not be now, no, because we've got we've got really good banter and can laugh and talk um, all the time, and we'd crack up on set. And when he wore the suit, there was no talking to Rafi, so that was challenging. But um, <laughs> the rest of it is pretty much um, a breeze because uh, Brandon set a really he's very very focused and concentrated at the monitor. He know exactly what he wants and would say, "There, there's your character. Go go with it." And he was very very collaborative and supportive. So it, it made it quite a joy. And they're brilliant. We had a wonderful crew out in um, Nova Scotia and a fantastic director nice of photography. People. I thought it's the yes. work of the DP is really, yes. really good. And not to have to rely on CGI for the whole time, but to, again, like the story's a bit retro, to go back to the old way of, of doing things, actually using um, great creative talent. Yeah, that was that was a really good part of it. Um, so I'll ask you both, so I'll start with you, Rafi. Um, was there anyone anywhere other than the script or I don't know if you read the book, but anywhere other than that, that you kind of got inspiration for your character, anybody you thought about in particular or anything like that? 
Uh, I wouldn't say I'm the most manipulative person, but um, I, you know, I'd like to think that I'm pretty in tune with emotions because I never went to school, but I've went to a, you know, I've I've done a lot of talk therapy, about five thousand hours. So um, I, I think that was a part of it. I don't know if you know who Darren Brown is, but one of his things is that he's very in tune with people, and that's how he gets things right. I would like to think that I'm good at that, and that's probably how it worked for the role and the reason I got the role. Yeah, that my, the, it was great. My daughter um, was 15 um, a few months back, and we, we, she had a call from David Blaine. It made me think about all of this about the, the magician, the, how, how magic can work, and how we can be so easily taken in. Um, do either of you have a particular favorite scene that you can talk about without completely spoiling everything? There is a uh, scene. I quite like the Aries one. Oh, oh, look who it is. Go ahead. It's all my fault. I I, the, Anna should always be going first because no, she's got better answers. Go. I'm done. Go. No, go. Uh, uh, okay, fine, 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 fine. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. Um, I had a scene with that. Anna, all my scenes with Anna is 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 what made me do this movie, and I enjoyed all of them. But there, there is a scene where I fall off the wagon as a sober person, and it's the kind of start of the redemption that she gets, even though she's compassionate about me falling off the wagon. I admit some things that is a twist, um, and we were allowed to get physical, and we were allowed to really go at each other, and I think that really played into how decent, I should say, that our part was. Right. You have anything to add? I, I, I enjoyed filming that scene the most as well because it was it was the most uh, challenging. But I also liked having to do a really creepy old voice when, when, towards the end when you skip mm. a little bit of time. Okay. Did I, um... I my little the little Etienne who who plays the little boy? Um, he was a joy to work with because he was when you work with children they're just so full of wonder because <laughs> they've not been on hundreds of film sets and so excited with what he was doing and to watch his concentration and to and to will him along was was really a lovely experience did uh we'll start with anna <laughs> so you know who's gonna answer um did you read any of the book because since this one was one of the ones that was kind of based on the original yeah not until, not until after reading the script because i thought sometimes you can get distracted or you can get frustrated thinking oh why is that not a bit of the book not in why can't i do that scene and um I think you've got to be careful when you're when you're doing something that's um, translated from a book. But um, I'm, I want to read more Clive Barker now. Um, I uh, the question was about Clive Barker, right? Yeah, Sorry. did you read any of the book? I, I've never read the book nor this one. Um, I uh, I like to stay away from the originals whenever I do anything um, and uh, just kind of do my take on it. But, you know, I have a lot of respect for Clive Barker. I do understand the Hellraiser thing and I've seen, I've seen bits of it. And so, you know, it's one of the reasons I did the movie is really because of the way he read the stories and, and, and how he does things. So big respect to him. Okay. Did um, either of you talk to uh, Clive? Rafi, you can continue. <laughs> no, no, never spoke to him. <laughs> what about you, Anna? No. Well, well, I was I was hoping today on this virtual um, junket that we would actually get. Right, she froze. Yeah, she froze. She was hoping to meet him today, but that hasn't happened either. She's never met him. Okay, <laughs> well, that answers the question. Okay, well, um, hopefully she'll come back. But um, since this is a, a horror movie, what what is it that frightens you? Either in watching scary stuff or just in general in your life? Um, I'm frightened of everybody. I'm frightened of people and how they might make me feel um, and what they could do to me um, because I'm a sensitive little flower and I mean that seriously. And so that's one of the reasons I like this is because, you know, what Simon does to her is he literally preys on her. And, you know, I'm scared that that's going to happen to me, that I'm going to be hurt in some way, that I'm going to be taken advantage of. And that's, that drew me to the story. Yeah, as I said, uh, it was <laughs> it freaked me out too. So yeah, but um, but all right. Um, well, it's almost over. But oh, let me ask you really quick. What about uh, floating or kind of floating scene? Oh my god! Well, I was in that suit that I talked about with you, right? And then I was pulled up and like upside down, blood rushing to my head on a rig. I mean, it was nuts. It was absolutely nuts. So you know, it was it, it was just crazy. I mean, I, I was just absolutely strung up. 
you know, so it was like being Jesus, but upside down. And I'm certainly not that holy. So it was like, it, it was so uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, it it. But it looked like fun too at the same time. So yeah, it was, right. yeah, yeah. well, thanks a lot. Um, I appreciate it. Like I said, I enjoyed the Thanks, Jamie. Thank right. you. Thanks a lot. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. You too.